Hello, uh, today we will learn how to use the empiri uh, empirical rule to uh, um, estimate the value between the region and also estimate the percentage of the data set. Uh, so empirical rule is say like this, so 68% of value between uh, negative one standard deviation and one standard deviation. So this area right here, that will give you 68%. And from negative two standard deviation to two standard deviation right here, that area will give you like uh, 95%. So the data fall into this region right here that will be not unusual, but the one out here that would be unusual because very hard to get more than 95% of the data. And then um, the last one that you have, uh, that would be the three, negative three standard deviation to three standard deviation that would be 99.7%. Okay, so we're gonna use this um, rule right here. It's also known as 68, 95, 99.7 um, to do this problem without technology. So if you use technology, it's gonna be, uh, it can mark you incorrect because this one to use for estimate, um, it not like um, precisely um, the data, okay. So we have the weight of one year old girls in USA normally distributed with the mean of uh, 9.3 kilograms and the standard deviation in one kilograms, okay? So we're gonna find the 98% um, of data between two values. So we're gonna look at the mean right here. <clears throat> you look at the, the mean I have right here. I start with the mean that would be 9.3, right? 9.3. And then, so I minus one, that will have the, this value right here, that give me 8.3, right? Yes. Uh, if your number is more complicated, put in your calculator, okay? Uh, and then uh, over here, you have 9.3, and then you're gonna add one standard deviation to um, put in there. So my standard deviation here is one, it's easy, but your, it may be 0.7 and you get at 0.7 and something like that, okay? Uh, so then you plus one. So the answer would be equal to 10.3, right? So you put the answer in here. So the first one, you're gonna have the lower one, always the lower go first, okay? So 8.3, and then you subtract right here, then you will have 10.3, yes, okay? Now, if I have two standard deviation, uh, and 95%, so it have to be two standard deviation, right? So I do same thing right here. So I will take, I will take um, 9.3, 9.3, and then I will minus two standard deviation. In this case, I will have two times one. So I'm gonna write right here so that you can see if your standard, deviation not one, so then you can multiply whatever that number in there for you to see, okay? So in this case, my standard deviation is one, so I do that part, okay? So that will be equal to 7.3, right? And then the last one, so I will have 9.3, I do the same thing, and then I plus two times one, right? I write this one so that you can see, but you don't have to do this if your number is nice, but like you have like, 0 0.7, then you have to write two times 0 0.7 and so on. So this one over here, I will have like 11.3, yeah? Uh, so that's what I'm gonna put right here, okay? So let's see, if I put in here, then I will have, this one would be um, 7.3, and then over here would be 11.3, yeah. So that would be the answer for that. I submit, I should have the correct answer for this one, yes? Okay, so now they're gonna ask you what percent of data is less than 8.3? See, 8.3 is right here, huh? Uh, so that means the area between here that we see to 8%, right? Uh, so you have this one right here would be 68%, huh? 68. But you're gonna subtract the whole thing with 100%, or right? you take 100% and then you subtract 68. So the answer would be, um, 32, right? So 32 is the area of um, this part right here. 
the area of this part over here, from here to all the way to the end. Uh, here, I draw it here. From here all the way to the end, you can shade the whole thing, and from here all the way to the end. But you noted that D two tell the same, right? So therefore, I would take thirty two right here, and then I will divide it by two, right? Which is sixteen. Yeah, sixteen right here. So sixteen percent from here from negative one standard deviation down and one standard deviation up, yeah? So therefore over here, the answer would be um, 16%. I have right here, okay? So I can type in here, that would be 16%. Now they put the percent already, already there, so you don't have to put the convert to decimal. So again, it would be a 16%, yes? Now they ask you what data line between 7.3 and 11.5 is right here, huh? 7.3 and 11.5 is right here, yes? So that is, you already have the answer right there, it's 95%, yes? So you have 95%, yes, okay? And then um, they say, what percentage is more than 12.3? I don't have the 12.3 right here, but I have this 11.3 right here, huh? If add one more, that'd be 12.3. So more than this, so remember the part right here is 99.7, right? So we're gonna do that again. Um, so we're gonna have, um, you're gonna take uh, 99.7 and then you're gonna subtract from one, yeah? So that will give you uh, 0 0.3, right? Huh, yeah? And then 0 0.3, that a little thing, um, that little thing from, let me erase this one first here for you to see. Um, so from here, from this part right here, all the way over here, that's a 99.7. So 0 0.3, that means from this part um, over here, this part right here from here, all the way to the left, uh, to the right, and all the way to the left. So that part is 0 0.3. So you see these two to get these two are equal. So therefore, each side may be half of this. I mean, I divide it by two. Yeah. So I'm gonna take um uh, point three, 0 0.3, and then I divide by two. So the answer would be equal to 0 0.15 percent, not point, not not decimal, okay. So that would be your data right here. So 0 0.15% is what you put right here, okay? And then you submit and you should have your uh, answer right here. Yeah, so I hope it helped.